Let's practice inserting data in cells and ranges here in Excel 2013. So you can download this file from strv.ms forward slash 1h2 capital F 066. So when you have this file, let's practice autofill. If you have this information here in part one, Excel can figure out the rest. So you click on this cell A2, move your mouse to the bottom right corner, and let's drag down for a little bit. We'll just say up to here until part 10. I'll just delete that last one there. So Excel automatically knows that we want to increase by ones. Now, what if we want to increase by fives? One way to do it is to simply pick the next number, which is 10, highlight both numbers, and Excel can figure out the pattern based on this increment of five. Got to move to the bottom right corner here. I'm going to drag down. You can see that we're going up by fives now. What if we want to decrease by 25 cents each time? Again, just give Excel a little hint. 475 is the first number. And right now, I don't see the same formatting. So if you want to copy this formatting, what I can do is I can press Control-C to copy. And I'm going to just right-click, highlight this region, right-click. I'm going to paste the formatting, which means that it's going to be in the accounting format. Furthermore, I could have just highlighted this information and clicked on this button here, which is accounting number format. So 475 is the next number. I'm going to highlight both informations going to wait for that black plus sign and drag all the way down and there we have it now I want to paste the formatting of this green cell here and apply it all the way across these different parts so I'm going to press control C to copy I'm going to highlight this information here I'm going to right click I'm going to paste the formatting over here and there you have it whether it's bolded whether it's italicized, whether you're talking about the background color or the font or even the borders, we are pasting the formatting. Now let's try deleting some data. Look what happens when I click on cell A1 and, and I press the delete button. When I press the delete button after selecting the cell, the formatting is retained. Let me press Control Z to undo. What's another way of clearing this information? I could go to the Home tab and click on this Clear button. I could clear all, which would clear the formatting as well. And by doing this, the background color is gone, and so is the font. You can see this is the default Calibri 11 size font. So in most cases, I would imagine that you would simply click on a cell and press the Delete button to clear the data.